Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate torque. And in this video, the force, the applied force, and the radial vector will not be at right angles to each other. In the previous video, I showed you how to calculate torque, which you can link to that video right here. I showed you how to calculate the torque when the force vector and the radial vector are at right angles to each other. But in this case, as you can see, they will not be. This is the situation we have. We have this door. This is the purple bar is the door. You're looking at the door from the top. You're looking down on the door. The door is 0 0.8 meters wide. This yellow circle, that's the hinge of the door, the axis of rotation in this case. The door could rotate, move back and forth like this. This blue arrow is the radial vector. The radial vector runs from the axis of rotation out along the object to the end of the object. There is a force of 45 newtons produced, excuse me, applied to the door. It's applied at the end of the door. It's applied in such a way that the force vector makes an angle of 130 degrees with the radial vector or the extension of the radial vector. So this angle right here is 130 degrees. Now, in order to calculate the torque, we're going to use the torque equation. This is the torque equation. This is the Greek letter tau. This is for the symbol for torque. Torque is simply Rf times the sine of theta. R. What is R? R is the straight line distance from the axis of rotation to the point of application of the force. That is, in this case, 0 0.8 meters. We're going to multiply that times the force. Well, the force is 45 newtons. Now, we're going to multiply that by the sine of theta. Well, what is theta? By definition, when you calculate torque, theta is the angle between the radial vector or in this case, the extension of the radial vector, and the force vector. And you can see that in this case, that is 130 degrees. This angle is theta, not this angle. This angle is theta, sine of 130. When you multiply 0 0.8 times 45 times the sine of 130, you get 27.6 meter newton. That's the magnitude of the torque. Torque is a vector. It has magnitude and direction. When we apply this force. This force would cause this door to rotate in the counterclockwise direction. That's why there's a plus sign here. Forces that cause objects to rotate in the counterclockwise direction, counterclockwise direction produce what we have defined as positive torque. Now, this is the direction of the torque vector, magnitude and direction. The torque vector points out of the page, out of your computer screen. The torque vector is always perpendicular to the plane created by the radial vector and the force vector. And that's basically your computer screen, or if you're working on a piece of paper in two dimensions, that would be the plane of the page. When the object rotates in the counterclockwise direction, the torque vector points out of the page. Okay, that's how you calculate torque. R, F, sine theta, this is theta. Now, I want to point out, because you will see people use this angle. Now, I did say theta is this angle. Well, if you know a little bit about trig, the sine of 130 and the sine of 50 is the same. So if you use the sine of 50, you will get the right answer. But I just want to point out, technically speaking, theta is this angle. But you can actually use either angle. All right? All right. Let's try one more. Now, this, this problem is basically the same few modifications I made. Torque, door, the door is 0 0.8 meters wide again. The force is 55 degrees. The force, excuse me, the force is 55 newtons. It's applied in such a way that the angle between the radial vector and the force vector is 60. Now the force in this case is not applied at the end of the door. It's applied 0 0.1 or a tenth of a meter from the end of the door. That's what this is supposed to be showing you. It's, so it's not at the end of the door. So now we're going to, once again, just use our torque equation. What is R? R is the straight line distance from the axis of rotation to the point of application of the force. Well, in this case, it's not 0 0.8, it's 0 0.7. The force is 55. The sine of theta, once again, if theta is the angle between the radial vector and the force vector. It's not this angle, it's this angle. Well, that is the sine of 60. Yes, you will notice that in this case we calculate the torque, and the torque has a magnitude of 33 meter newton. Once again, this force would cause this torque, this door, to rotate 
in the counterclockwise direction, so it's positive, and again, it points out of the board. So this force would produce this much torque. Now, this angle is 60, so obviously this angle is 120. Once again, if you use this angle, sine of 120, you'll get the same answer because the sine of 60 and the sine of 120 are the same. What you usually see people do is use the angle that's less than 90. Okay, that's the most common thing. But theta is by definition this angle. All right, so there you have it. All you have to do is apply the for the torque equation to the situation RF sine theta. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you could do one or all of the following three things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent chemistry, physics, and math videos. You could leave me a thumbs up for this video, and you could also leave me a nice positive comment. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.